Reporting from Hallis Hall as the Bears wrap up their OTAs, I'm Kevin Fishbane. He's Jake Bartleson here for ChicagoFootball.com. And uh, Jake, a lot of not a lot happens at OTAs, but when Kyle Long spends a day playing right tackle in front of all of us, it becomes the big story. And John Fox and Kyle Long are both asked about. Let's start with John Fox. He made it very clear this was just a temporary move. Kevin, like you said, you know it is a temporary move. He didn't put a whole lot of stock into it. He just mentioned, hey, we got guys that are injured. We need to see what we have in the event there are injuries throughout the season is a smart move by Fox. And we all know how athletically gifted Kyle Long is, two-time pro bowler at guard. His football career started a little bit late in the game, didn't play a ton at Oregon, was a first-round pick, of course. He also seemed to very much understand the situation and not put a ton of stock into it, but it enjoys gaining the experience in another position. He's comfortable in his abilities, and he understands the nature of the game. Injuries are going to happen, so he's got to be ready at all times. And I'm sure and confident that in the event there is an injury, Kyle Long will step up to the plate. And the thing with Kyle Long, ever since he was drafted, we always wondered, is this guy going to be a left tackle one day, a right tackle one day? We asked Ryan Pace about it at the combine. He didn't rule it out. Um, but John Fox did say he is the starting right guard. So moving forward, we imagine Kyle Long will still be the right guard. Uh, but for the sake of the OTA, when not a lot's going on, of course, we're going to focus on the fact that Kyle Long got some experience right tackle, and we'll see if that comes in down the line. Uh, for Jake, I'm Kevin. That'll do it for here from Hallis Hall. For all the best Bears coverage, stick right here at ChicagoFootball.com.